kept pushing on, but then you went too far When your ship has sailed and all your dreams are lost Everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault This Hilton is so beautiful, I can't wait to show you. You guys, after 24 hours of travel, I finally made it to Xi'an and I've checked into my hotel, so I'm gonna do a hotel tour. That's what I always like doing before I touch anything in the rooms, so everything's a first impression. I'm staying at the Hilton in Xi'an. There are, there are, I think there are two or three of them here, but I'm staying at the one that's within the original city gates. It is so beautiful. This is probably the most beautiful Hilton I've ever been. Um, the rooms are super nice too, so check it out. So you'll notice because it's gotten colder, I'm not wearing Birkenstocks anymore. I'm wearing my Roshi fly knits. And this is the corner when you come in, you can see it's like all, I don't know if it's, I think it's like laminated wood or stone. I can't tell. When you come in, this is the corridor on the right. There is a small statue of a lady on a horse. It's actually very charming. Here on the left is the bathroom and it has a large sink area with lots of counter space, two bottles of water, which I feel like they always give you in nice Asian hotels. They actually have Crabtree and Evelyn toiletries, which I'm sort of surprised about because they usually have something that is not local, but like Asian. So that's great. Over here is the bathtub, and that has a big glass window into the bedroom, so you can basically see the bedroom. <laughs> oh, you can see me too. Um, over here is a toilet and a shower. Walking out from the bathroom, there is a full-length mirror here on the left, and then there's a little credenza here, which is so useful for putting keys. Then I'm gonna put my luggage on this bench over here, and then this is a pretty standard luxury hotel room. I feel like this is like what you get when you book a really nice hotel room, and yeah. This is actually an executive room, so I think that's where like the chaise comes in, and there's like really beautiful finishes. There's like a lacquer cabinet. Um, giant Avion, which I think that's actually just under, that's like eight bucks, which is probably as much as, probably cheaper than it costs at JFK, to be honest. There's a tea set, and I don't know if there's coffee, there might, oh, there's Nescafe, Nescafe is very, very big in Asia in terms of instant coffee, and a little desk area. And this plant, this is a no smoking room, which is really important to me, especially in China, where a lot of hotels still allow smoking. The view, I can't really see anything because it's still dark, but it looks like, it just looks like out onto the street. I'm on the eighth floor, the executive floor. So I'm here in Xi'an for, I think, one, two, maybe four nights. I can't really remember. I think I'm flying today. I'm so discombobulated. I flew on Friday the 19th in the morning from New York, but then I landed on the 20th on the Saturday midday in Beijing. Then I had a seven hour layover in the Beijing airport, and then I got on a flight at 8.30 at night to come to Xi'an, and I just landed at 10.30. So I think, yeah, it's Saturday night, it's 20th. So 20, 21, 20, 20, 20. Yeah, I think I'm here for like four nights, and then I'm going back to Beijing for another leg of my trip that I'm super excited about. Tomorrow, what time is it now? Oh my God, it's like midnight. Look, it's like, uh, you can't see the Apple watches, they go off. Um, it's basically almost midnight here and I have to be, I'm doing a really, really intense day of eating tomorrow. In the morning, I'm going to the market in the Muslim part of town. I think this, this 
I think Xi'an is, um, is pretty split. It's like half Muslim and half secular or non-Muslim or Buddhist or um, other religions. And the Muslim food culture here is unbelievably good. Like it's world famous. I don't know if you've heard of that restaurant, Xi'an Famous Foods in New York. That is that type of food. And I've always wanted to come here and try it like for real in the actual place where the food came from for myself. So I'm gonna go tomorrow to the market in the Muslim quarter of town, which from what I understand from what I've read, and I haven't read any like proof of this or academic texts, but I believe that it's the, the largest and the oldest market in all of China. Now China's a big country with a lot of people. So I'm really, really excited to go there. Plus the food, the breakfast foods and the market foods they have there in the morning that all sell out before like noon. So you have to get there super early. They are so unique. There are things that I've never had anywhere else. I am so excited. Then I'm gonna take like a little break in the middle of the day and then I'm gonna go back to, I, I don't know if I'm going back to the Muslim quarter or to like a different part of the city, like near there, but it is gonna be very central. And I'm gonna go on like a night market crawl because night markets and like morning markets are, are totally different. Like morning markets are mostly like tons of fresh groceries, like produce, like meats. And like, it's for people who are going to markets, like get their food to cook at home or to have in a restaurant or to use. And night markets are more about prepared foods and snacks and like things you can like walk along and graze. There's also this amazing looking restaurant that we drove by on the way to the hotel and my taxi driver who's like obsessed with food too, he told me that that restaurant just opened and he said it's really, really good. It's like a sit down restaurant with really, really great Xi'an cuisine. Xi'an cuisine. I'm so excited. I don't know if I have like enough time or stomach space to do all this, but I'm gonna try my hardest. Right now though, I have not slept in like 28 hours, 30 hours, so I have to go to bed. Otherwise, tomorrow is gonna be a disaster. So I'll see you in the morning. What's up? Good morning, guys. It is my first full day in Xi'an in China. I am so excited to be here i basically have like a day and a half before i'm joining a group for like the work part of my trip but i'm gonna take full advantage of my free day i have a very aggressive eating schedule scheduled for today it's kind of cloudy outside i hope it's not raining take a look i'm heading out now this is so exciting i'm so excited to be here I don't know if it's because I'm staying in the historical part of town and not in like the business part of town, but it's not even that busy for rush hour. So I'm guessing it's because I'm staying within like the old city gates. Um, anyway, it's like beautiful out here, even though it's so rainy. Check it out. for soup and look at this line.
what's up guys it is coming up on 5 p.m i'm a little tired i just woke up from like a three hour nap i came back from my morning food tour which was so fun but it was like raining and cold but we ate some amazing things you saw like the beef patty that i had i had some great deep fried persimmon cakes which so good and um the noodles were really really amazing i think the bear noodles that work that this region is really famous for um and i came back to the hotel i like checked my social media and then i immediately just like passed out partially because of jet lag because we're 12 hours ahead here of new york so when i came back it was like 1 a.m new york time i was so tired but also partially because I only got about five hours of sleep last night. I got into the hotel around midnight, like showered, went to bed, and then woke up super early to go on the tour. Anyway, I feel much better now, although I'm like a little groggy. You know how like when you nap and you wake up, you just feel like, oh, like, haven't really gotten it together. I was gonna get a cup of tea, but I might do it on the way back because I'm going back to the original meeting point to meet my evening tour. I'm so excited to eat more things, although I am not hungry in the least. Like, not even like a little bit hungry. My body's like, what are you doing to me? I think tomorrow I'm gonna take it easy and do some cultural things. So I'm not just like slowly killing myself with calories and salt. But one more big push tonight, let's go. Smells amazing. might be a brewery, but I think we're gonna drink some local craft brews here. Let's try it out. No it oh, so but you never can tell all the lovers. We were diving for to different colors that we had to put to sleep. All the lovers hope that we could break the spell. you guys I just got to the Grand Hyatt in Xi'an I checked out of the Hilton and I checked into a new hotel and I am so excited to show you this room this hotel just opened I think this May 
definitely the spring sometimes so it's a brand new hotel and it's in a totally different part of town so the Hilton what I was staying in was in like within the ancient city gates and then this hotel is in like this new it's almost like the Silicon Valley of Xi'an it's the high-tech development district I think I have that name right but it's definitely like a very business centric district but this hotel is pure luxury you have to see my room so this room when you come in it is all wood paneling it is so beautiful look at this entryway it's so calm and soothing and you walk in and there's art right in front of you to the right over here there is the switch for privacy and then there is this which is a half bath this is totally my first impressions because i haven't even looked yet hello so this is a half bath i guess if you have people over they can use this bathroom then there are closets there's a safe and there is a closet with a robe and slippers when you come in you turn a corner and directly to your left is a giant bathroom i am so excited check it out look over here on the left is a toilet oh it even has the japanese stuff look it just opened ah my brother has this toilet in his house well he has like a couple of them um but they're so great because they're super clean and they warm your butt on the right over here is the shower and it is all stone with a rain shower and a handheld and let's see what toiletries they use they use Aka Kappa. I don't know where that's from. Now check this out. Look at this giant, super deep mat. Oh, that is nice. A matte finish white bathtub, which <laughs> overlooks the city. Look at that view from the bathtub. You're like looking at a giant tower and over a bazillion high rises. And then over here is the double sink area. Hello. Um, you know I love a, love a double sink area. And this also has a view behind it. It's set against the window, so you can look at the window as you brush your teeth. There is another closet in the hallway here, which is an open closet, ironing board with an iron. I've put my luggage here. Actually, they brought it up. I've already bought so many snacks that I may have to buy another suitcase for the way back. And this is the main room. Semi-circular shape. I've never stayed in a room this shape before. But over here to the right is the bar area. There's a bottle of wine. There's a tea set. There's a mini bar. Mini bars are so important when you travel to foreign countries. There is coffee, glasses. Many snacks. And an ice bucket. Over here is the bed. This is a king size bed. It is beautiful clock, notes, there is a sitting area over here, let's see what the view is like, this is amazing, the view is incredible, I mean these buildings are full of people. <laughs> I feel like these are so much more epic somehow than New York's high rises, even though, wow, this is incredible. Over here on the right is a sitting area. They've left some fruit. The sofa looks like it's been custom designed to fit the semicircular space. And then over here is a desk with two chairs and a large screen TV. Again, let's look at the view because I cannot get enough of the view. <laughs> Check out the view. Now it's been raining a little bit over the past few days, so it's no surprise that it's like a little bit cloudy. But you can look down, I guess there's like a terrace down there that probably belongs to the hotel as well. 
So I am here at the Hyatt in Xi'an for the next couple of days before I head over to Beijing. And I think this leg of the trip, so the first part of my trip was mostly like eating. And this leg of the trip will be a lot more traditional in terms of like sightseeing. I think we're gonna go see the Terracotta Warriors. We're definitely gonna go to the Regional Shanxi Museum and there will be some fine dining involved in this leg of the trip. When like I definitely tried to make sure I did all the street food in the first couple of days of my trip. So I'm gonna get unpacked and I'm gonna get settled in and maybe have a little nap because I'm kind of tired. What's up guys? It is day three for me in Xi'an and today I am waking up at the Grand Hyatt in Xi'an, but it's outside of the city walls. It's in the high tech development district. So this is where, this is like the business district of Xi'an. It's a huge city. So this is about a 20 minute drive from the Hilton where I was staying last. So yesterday I wound up not actually doing that much after I checked into this hotel because I feel like yesterday morning I had done so much because I went to Yongxingfang. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but I think it's Yongxingfang. Um, that was that food court that was like the historical area where they have like all those really like really traditional Han foods. And then afterwards I was picked up and I moved here and I'm still really jet lagged. I can't believe I've only been here for three days, but I'm still pretty jet lagged. So I slept for about two hours in the afternoon before logging on because yesterday was Monday and the work week started. So I am technically working while I'm away and because China's 12 hours ahead of New York in terms of time zone when it's like 9 p.m. here it's like 9 a.m. in New York so I logged on around 6 a.m. New York time and I started doing work just like like getting all my work done in the morning because I knew I was gonna have to like sleep so I worked from like 6 to 11 30 slept for like four and a half five hours because I'm jet lagged it actually works out kind of well so I was only offline for like four hours in New York time in the afternoon that I logged back on around four. So I actually got a lot of work done, which I'm really happy about because the last thing I want is to go on a work trip and then go back to New York and then have tons of work piled up that I have to like then catch up on. It just feels so stressful. So I actually like getting things done when I'm away. Anyway, today is going to be kind of a chill day too. This hotel is so beautiful. I'm really looking forward to exploring it. So I think we're going on a property tour this morning and then I have a spa treatment booked for 11 o'clock. I'm so excited about it. But first, the most important thing that I need to do today is have hotel buffet breakfast. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you will know that one of my favorite, favorite things like in the entire world of like all things, I would say top 15 things, is luxury hotel breakfasts in Asia. There might be a better way of saying that. How about buffet breakfasts at luxury hotels in Asia? And I have been very lucky to experience like a handful of these over the past few years. I've been very lucky to stay in some really, really amazing hotels for work. And so every time I do, I try to go to the buffet because it's always mind-blowingly good. I love Chinese breakfast, but I also love American breakfast. And I also love English breakfast. So all the breakfasts in one place, that's what you get at like an international, super nice hotel in Asia. Let's go check it out.
update, tiny update. I've had a very long massage. It was like two hours long. Originally, it was supposed to be 100 minutes, but then the massage therapist, I think that she had like, has like a background in Chinese medicine. And as soon as she started on my back, she started saying things like, you have a lot of toxicity in your back. I'm like, yes, I know, I'm aware. So she was like, she extended my massage extra. And it was amazing. It was fantastic massage. I feel so much better. I feel like everything is working better, like my circulation and everything. But what this means is because my massage ran late, I'm running late for lunch and in turn running late for the museum. So I'm gonna head over there now. Let's go. gonna lie I almost fell asleep look how tired I am I did not nap today because we went straight through the the museum and then we just got back about an hour ago I did a little bit of work and now I'm a little bit late to dinner but hopefully dinner won't be like a three-hour affair the food here is so good but I'm just kind of broken and exhausted from not napping um yeah, the museum was super awesome. I actually have started to really, really like historical geographical museums from coming to China so much and coming to Asia because almost every like major region in East Asia will have their own regional historical museum. And that's actually been really, really cool to see like, you know, I've gone to a lot of them over the past couple of years. Anyway, I'm gonna head down to dinner. I think we're going to a barbecue restaurant but not obviously not american barbecue i think this is like a pan asian barbecue restaurant so it'll feature barbecue from all over east asia and i think they even said they have some south asian and southeast asian barbecue styles here so i'm really excited hopefully it's not too dark to film but we'll see and hopefully i don't fall asleep at the table i might need to get like a margarita or something to stay awake coping mechanisms let's go <music> Terracotta Warrior Day, day four in Xi'an. Let's go. We're here at the Terracotta Warriors. Very exciting. Some kind of 
theme restaurant where we're gonna put on some clothes and eat here. Good morning guys, it is 5.55 in the morning and I am checking out of my hotel here in Xi'an. I'm at the Grand Hyatt in Xi'an in the high tech development district. So it's like the Silicon Valley of Xi'an. It's kind of amazing, it's like all high rises. Anyway, I am checking out of Xi'an this morning after four amazing days in this city. I have never been here before. I was so lucky to spend two days in the old city going to the Muslim market and eating all this amazing Muslim Han food, which is Xi'an is super well known for. And then I moved out here to join the Hyatt group for the, like the work part of my trip where we got to go see the terracotta warriors Which is so incredible like like such a powerful experience and um, Yeah, it's it's been the most unbelievable four days and I could not have asked for a better trip to Xi'an But this morning I am leaving the hotel in about half an hour We're catching a flight and we're going to Beijing. So this is the end of my Xi'an vlog I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in Beijing in my next vlog. And if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of travel videos on this on this channel, but I'm also branching out and trying like mukbangs and like talk through videos. And I do some beauty videos because I'm obsessed with beauty products. Anyway, I hope you're having a great week and I will see you in Beijing.